8 Beginner Bitcoin Questions Answered 1. How does mining work? Mining is a key component of the Bitcoin system. It helps secure the network, is integral to the issuance of new coins, and in a sense ties everything together. But how does it work? Well, it's slightly complicated, so I'll try to explain it in a condensed way that is simple but not too simple, so you hopefully get the gist of it. In the early days of Bitcoin, mining could be done on any computer, simply with the computer's CPU. Over the years, mining moved away from CPU to GPU, then to FGPAs, and finally to ASICs application-specific integrated circuits. 2. What are the other major coins besides Bitcoin BTC? Ethereum is similar to Bitcoin in that it uses an open-source blockchain system, but it is more focused on smart contracts, which are computer programs that automatically execute agreements without the need for trusted intermediaries. XRP is a currency that runs on RippleNet, a creation of Ripple Labs company. It aims to be an alternative to legacy financial systems like SWIFT. Tether is a coin that is pegged to the US dollar, also called a stablecoin. It doesn't have its own blockchain and instead is issued on other blockchains including BTC, ETH, and BCH. Litecoin is similar to Bitcoin and is based on the Bitcoin protocol, but introduces some small changes, including faster block times and a different hashing algorithm. Bitcoin Cash is another major coin, and is a fork of Bitcoin. Forks allow factions of a community to split and go their separate ways when they run into irreconcilable differences. 3. What is the best Bitcoin wallet? There are many options for Bitcoin wallets, and which is, the best, depends on your goals and level of experience. The highest security and most privacy comes from running your own Bitcoin full node, but this is not practical for most users, nor is it necessary. 4. How can I store Bitcoin safely? Generally, your Bitcoin should be stored in your own wallet and not kept on an exchange. As the old saying goes, not your keys, not your coins. This means that technically speaking when you have your coins on an exchange, you don't actually own any coins. When you have your coins in your own wallet, you are immune from many of the risks, but your coins can still be lost if you don't back up your wallet and your computer dies, or if a hacker gets access. Keeping your computer up to date with malware and antivirus protection is recommended. 5. How do you know if a Bitcoin transaction is legitimate? Beginners wonder how it's possible to know if a Bitcoin transaction is legit if it's just a bunch of data. Can't that be faked? The short answer is that your wallet knows whether a transaction is valid, and usually won't even display an invalid transaction. As to how the wallet knows this, Bitcoin transactions must follow a very specific format, and can only spend coins that are themselves valid and only if the user wallet can produce the correct digital signature. 6. Is Bitcoin anonymous? Yes and no. While Bitcoin transactions are not completely anonymous, not all transactions have a clear identity associated with them. The privacy model for Bitcoin is different from traditional finance. Actually, the Bitcoin white paper has a nice diagram for this. As you can see, in the traditional world of finance, transactions are shielded from public view, but trusted third parties know everything. Those trusted parties include banks, credit card companies, and so on. 7. How are Bitcoins taxed? Tax law is complicated and varies widely based on jurisdiction. I am not a tax professional and you should always seek professional tax advice when it comes to finances. That said it appears taxes on Bitcoin are not particularly different from other assets. When you sell Bitcoins, it is generally a taxable event and taxes are owed on the profits. 8. Where can you spend Bitcoins? You can spend Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies anywhere they are accepted. Often, online shops offer more cryptocurrency adoption than retail settings. One great place to find stores that accept crypto is map.bitcoin.com. Another option is to get a crypto-based debit card. For example, this one from BitPay. This allows you to load your coins and spend them anywhere debit cards are accepted, which is basically everywhere. These news are presented to you by Bitcoin.ngo, the new local Bitcoins, a global marketplace for sellers and buyers. Sign up in one minute and get verified instantly. Buy directly from the best seller in your area. Get your Bitcoin in minutes. What are you waiting for?